I was wondering if you'd join me. The moon looks pretty tonight, doesn't it? It's blue. A crystal blue moon suspended in the night sky, shining down on those vast stretches of sand. I feel like I could stare at it forever and ever and still be amazed. <laughs> because the moon reminds me of you, my little mouse. How are you feeling? Well, at least you're talking to me again. How wonderful. I haven't seen anyone struggle like you did when you woke up this morning. Doing everything in your power to get away from me as I tried to hold you. And here I thought you'd appreciate waking up to my face resting beside yours. I only wanted to comfort you. You know? And to snuggle a bit so my coils would warm up. It was such a long and cold night. I only managed to return to the palace at dawn. It was freezing. <laughs> but now, why would you care about your poor little snake and how neglected she must have felt being apart from you all night? Hmm? I really wanted to hold you. <sighs> These ruins are peaceful. Aren't they? All of these old pillars made of sandstone that surround us. I wonder what stories the old rocks must have lived through. What do you think? No, I, I don't come here often. Not like I used to. I wouldn't even have found these forgotten ruins in the first place had it not been for a chance encounter. Mm-hmm. Yes. A long time ago, I met a desert rat. The curious little creature had ventured out of its burrow all the way into the city. Upon seeing me, it scurried away. And my, um, instincts prompted me to give chase. And so I slithered through the busy streets in between houses, past all the people staring in surprise at their young princess chasing a little rodent. And that little rodent ran for quite a while. All the way into these ruins at the edge of the city. I finally caught the silly critter. I tried so hard to wriggle out of my grasp, but I held it tight in my coils. And I realized that it was scared, shaking. And the poor little thing thought it was going to die. And for a long time, I wondered what I should do. In the end, I placed the rat on my palms and carried it to the dunes in the distance. I set it down and smiled. And it, it stood there for a while, just watching me. Before finally darting off into the sea of sand. I slithered back into the palace and got an earful from my mother for always disappearing off on these weird little adventures. 
I visited the rooms again the next night, hoping to see my new friend. And then again after that. I liked the serenity these blocks of stone seemed to cast. I still do. And so I kept coming here. Night after night. A young Lamia trying to explore the world outside the palace walls. To just... Play. But I never saw the desert rat again. These ruins really are beautiful, you know? Although the flowers are fairly new, they're glowing with their own light. Look, so many shimmering greens and lavenders. It looks almost surreal. Yes, it would seem they've started blooming all around us. The new flora is quite fascinating. The ecosystem is starting to change as night washes over this desert. Forever. There really is no need to look so disconcerted, my sweet. A lack of sun only brings out the magic hidden in these plants. They can only shine in the darkness. This morning, you looked like you were having an existential crisis when you couldn't find the sun in the sky anymore. You don't have to be scared. Life will be just the same as before. Only better. No more cruel rules and orders. No more denying yourself pleasure and desire. Only freedom. To be whoever you want. To be with whomever you want. Chaos can be beautiful. Like these flowers. Hush. Do not bring up her name. You'll ruin the night by thinking of that wretch. She isn't worthy of your worries. Your thoughts. Your dreams. Your love. Everything that you are. It should revolve around me and me alone. Because you're my moon. And I'll never let you out of my coils. Never. You're mine. You... You belong to me. I think the city's still abuzz with revelry. Men and monsters are thronging the streets, and I can almost hear the sounds of celebration, of strings and flutes and drums, of fireworks. But it really is quite this far out, amidst the dunes, shadowy pyramids. Pyramids. You can almost trace their outlines. I've heard that a long time ago. My kind killed those chosen to rule over the sun. Those who were not slumbering in those far-off pyramids as we speak, waiting to be awakened someday. They were we buried them under the sand, never to see the sun and moon again. We killed them. But, but I, I, I'm not like that 
anymore. I, I couldn't kill her. I don't know what it was. Perhaps you've made me soft, my pet. But when I thought of the way you'd look at me if I took a life, what thoughts might rage inside your head every time I tried to coil around you, the cold in your eyes even as your body warmed my scales. I couldn't do it. I just... I couldn't kill her. I don't... I don't want to turn back into what my kind used to be like. I... I don't think you could love me if I did. And that scares me. To never feel your soft hands in mind again. To never be able to cradle your head against my chest. And stroke your hair as your eyes turned droopy. To not be able to whisper you to sleep. And to not follow you into what dreams you may choose to share with me. To not be loved. I didn't kill her. She can even see the desert from her illuminated cell. It's more than what she deserves. After everything she did to me. So why... Why won't you love me? I know you still miss your home. But you, you're you already home. Can't you see? Tell me what more I must do. Under these stars, upon these endless sands... With all the souls of the departed and the living that haunt these ruins at night listening in, tell me what more I must do to convince you. That you're... That you're the best thing to have happened to me in all my centuries upon this earth. And I'll not have anyone else but you as my companion. I love her. Please... Help me. What more do I have to do for you to accept me? What? What, what do you mean? You already do. But I... I've seen how you still try to get away from me. How I scare you. I don't understand. Wait. You... You don't hate me? After all? No. You couldn't... Because... Because I'm still that snake. You saved. It'll, it'll just take a while yet to get used to me, huh? That's, well, that's, that's fair enough, I suppose. I know you're only saying that because you like my venom and my coils, but I'm still happy. You said it. Thank you. It's... It's not? My venom? Well, what is it, then? No, tell me. What is it you like about me? Oh, no. You weren't getting out of this one. I do so want to know why you like me.
<laughs> Darling, while I absolutely adore your stuttering and just how precious you are, I'm afraid I can't really make out what you're saying. Do speak up. Oh, you, you like my personality. Well, how so? What? No, I, I'm not bossy. Why would you even say that? No, I'm, I'm simply territorial over what's rightfully mine. It's an apophis thing. I'm not bossy, and even if I were, why would you like that? There's more? Then you think snakes are all right, for the most part? Are you doing this on purpose, little mouse? Or are you really just that bad at this? It's okay. I forgive you. Well, for the most part. But don't worry. I'll make sure to thoroughly teach you how to cheer up a woman when she's feeling down. Mm-hmm, yes. Audibly clearing your throat to try and distract me from how nervous you are. Just what do you take me for, pet? Hey, easy there. Pet! What is it, Angel? You're having trouble standing. Are you tired? But of course... These last few weeks have really taken a toll on you, haven't they? Subconsciously sharing so much of your essence with me when we get... intimate. <laughs> I haven't thanked you properly for that. I feel stronger with you by my side than I ever have. My magics have become more refined, shaped by you and the bond we share. Every time I hold you... I can feel my mana dancing like you breathe life into me. You do. It's all right. Hush. No need to worry. I've got you. Being with you shouldn't make you feel tired. The opposite, in fact. Due to this war, I guess, I, I've been unknowingly taking too much from you. My emotions are all haywire. I'm sorry. You're going to feel better soon. Human essence replenishes quickly. From now on, I'll be sure to make you smile every day. I told you, didn't I? This entire desert shall be ours to dream in. And I couldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have found myself again without you. My dearest. Now, no more words. Just rest in my coils as I wrap you up tighter ever so slowly. You look so serene, so very peaceful. I wouldn't mind watching you like this for the entire night, you know? In fact, I'm almost tempted not to sink my fangs into you. Oh, no. think I haven't noticed you stirring about in my coils, getting all bothered and jittery. 
you could always just ask me. You know? I'm more than happy to tend to your needs. I must say, you really have developed a taste for my venom. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, don't act like you're still afraid of my fangs. You love the state of bliss that I put you in. With just a little bit of attention to your neck here. <laughs> Did you shiver just now? Oh, my little mouse. You're just the cutest thing in the world. There's absolutely no way I'm ever letting you go. Hush. I told you. There's no need to speak. Just relax. I'll take care of you. Now, I'm sorry to get to it so quickly, but I just can't deny you what you've been craving for a moment longer. Every single time. I don't think I'll ever tire of seeing how my venom enthralls you. Your features are soft, happy, and there's such a big smile on your face, and if I didn't know any better, why... I think you were trying to nestle up even closer to me. Hmm. You seem to really like it when I squeeze it with my tail. <laughs> Are you finding your new bed of coils to your liking, my prince? <sighs> my venom doesn't usually put you to sleep this quickly, though. You won't even let me see your cute little reactions, will you? You're no fun. Maybe I should have done this after we reached the palace. How am I supposed to bring you back now? Any ideas, pet? Hmm. I feel like you're trying to tell me something. Those sleepy little noises sound surprisingly coherent. Are you sure? Well, okay then. But only because you asked. Still had some energy left to start squirming around after all. Hmm? Oh, do stop protesting. What's wrong with carrying you back in my arms? You humans call this a, um, a princess, Gary, don't you? <laughs> well, it's a prince, Gary, now. You better make your peace with it. Now, let us return to my bedchambers, little prince. There's still so much I have left to teach you. I won't lie. He's my... Hmm? What? Why are you? <sighs> Trying to scurry away, little mouse. Mm -mm. <sighs> That's better. You look so cute. And you're so warm. I just want to. Hmm. My. Your. Mine. Hmm? 
stop early? Oh, you're you're awake. I didn't I wasn't coiling you too tightly, was I? Do forgive me. I get possessive sometimes. <laughs> oh, please. You only have yourself to blame. You make such a good side pillow. My own personal space eater. Come here. I missed you. I fell asleep waiting for you to wake up. You sure took your sweet time. Yeah. You better make it up to me. <sighs> Can you see all those little lights through the window? People are still celebrating in the streets. I want to drag you out there. Show you off. Kiss you. Under the stars. But I'm still a little sleepy. <sighs> oh. We really did it. Didn't we? We united this desert. Centuries of war have finally come to pass. My citizens, ours, are so happy. And everyone was asking about you. They want to meet their empress's consort. The one who will rule this empire of dusk and night by my side. What is it? You have that look in your eyes again. You know the one when you're all pensive and quiet. What is it? The Pharaoh? <sighs> you just had to ruin the mood, didn't you? Silly little thing. You want me to set her free? And for what? Because it doesn't feel right to usher in this new age by imprisoning her. My, my. I didn't know my little mouse was hiding a silver tongue all this time. Maybe. I'll think about it. I know you still have a soft spot for that. Fallen goddess. And you hate seeing anyone suffer. You're too good for this world. You understand that, don't you? It can't stand gentle souls like you. The world hurts them. I'm so glad I found you. Nothing will ever be able to hurt you. Not anymore. I'll make sure you always have reasons to smile from here on. Okay? This again? I said I'd think about it. Now, can we please stop talking about my mortal enemy now? I didn't exactly turn her city into dust, you know. And her people. They're my people now, too. We're not cruel to our prisoners. Not to the ones who learn their place, anyway. <laughs> One day... You'll see the world how I see it. You'll give yourself to me, fully. You'll understand that this, all of it, was for the best. But until then, I'll just coil you tight and hold you in my arms. Kiss all that adorable resistance away. <laughs> Really? 
I'm glad you're finally starting to accept me. It, it makes an Apophis happy when her favorite person in the world isn't trying to actively squirm away from her touch. Thank you, my prince. No, we, we don't have to go anywhere right now. We have plenty of time. We can just... Keep cuddling, for now. I don't think my scales are sufficiently warm just yet. That's it. Just nestle on my chest, with my chin resting above your head. Just like this. Yes. Is that comfortable? Good. I've got you. Close your eyes if you like. Don't mind me just staring at your pretty face as I stroke your hair and squeeze you from time to time. This... This feels so right. What did I do to get so lucky? I won't let this desert Hmm? Don't worry about it, pet. I didn't say anything. Just listen to the sound of my breaths moving in time with yours. Let me hold you. That's all a mommy really wants, sometimes. I love you.